Okay, welcome back to the vlog. A little bit fresh faced, had a bit of a a bit of a shave, shave the head. That's it. Yeah. So we had to go drastic on the hair because of the uh, fact the hairdressers aren't open. So that got a buzz cut, as you could say. So the vlog today is a little bit of a review of the Cleveland Halo Launcher Hybrid, which is this here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a review of this. These have been in for uh, about a week or so now. Not really had time to get into the simulator and use it because I've had simulator issues. I've managed to um, get it hooked up to my iPad working, but it's still not working on the PC software. Someone was calling me back on Friday, still waiting for that phone call. Think of that as you wish, but not great at the minute. So I'm still trying to get the PC software working, but I can get in the simulator by hooking it up to my iPad using the app and then hooking the projector up to the iPad, so that's good. Over the weekend, people have bought a lot of balls. So I've got uh, 16 parcels to send out, totaling over 27 dozen balls, so that's brilliant. So thank you to everyone who's uh, purchased those off the site using the four for three offer. And I've sold a couple of buried elephant polo shirts as well, which is nice. So it's great that people are using the website because that's helping support me to do this whole full-time YouTube shop thing. So thanks very much to all of you who have done that so far. But back to this hybrid. And I'm going to show some close-ups of it as I talk. But this is so good. I mean, it looks really really good price wise you're looking at somewhere around 169 pound depending on where you buy it that's what we're selling it for here's 169 pound so it is great value for money when you put into consideration the prices of other ones this one is a 319 degree and it's a stiff flex and it's a, a Miyazaki shaft that comes in it normal standard grip this is just my demo club I love the top of this I love the matte black finish, um, the way that little high ball crown sits. Uh, down at the ball, it is really, really nice. And the fact that the face is also gunmetal as well, it just suits my eye brilliantly. It's a little bit like why I use the Yorker, matte on top, a little bit of a gunmetal gun metal finish. Uh, but this is a smaller head. It's not so stretched or doesn't feel as stretched as, some, as the Yorker one. So with the black shaft, and the black head, this is certainly something I could use. Technology wise, it has got uh, glider rails on the bottom where here, here and here. This will help the club glide through the rough in order to get that ball popping out of, uh, and get it further down, whereas an iron may get tangled up into the rough. Um, it's got weighting around it, it's called halo weighting on the back here and that's 360 weight in and that is designed to give it a more stable head but what it does do is give a lower center of gravity in order to get that ball popping up in the air whether it be off fairways or out the rough so you will get a higher ball flight with this than you would say a 19 degree iron this will pop up in the air because the center of gravity being further down and lower other than that Cleveland don't really claim much else and that's what kind of I like about Cleveland and Strix and there's no f amazing claims like faces and all this lot it is what it is it's a hybrid it's got these rails at the bottom to help guide the the club through the rough uh, and the weighting is there to put the center of gravity lower in order to get the ball up that's pretty much all you need to know there's no faces or break jail breaks or speed foams or speed injected anything it just is what it is, and I like that. So I'm gonna get into the simulator. I'm gonna hit some balls with this. Um, I've not warmed up, so expect the first few to be um, a little bit of a pull, probably, is my is my non-warmed up ball flight. 19 degree, I kinda of want this around about 220 yards. Um, there or thereabouts, carry would be what I was looking for for this. My four iron is around 200 to 205 now, so I'd want this to be sort of like about a 15 yard gap on that. If like my 19 degrees so let's get it in the simulator not fitted for me so it'd be interesting to see if it just does exactly the same as what mine does which is a high draw ball flight uh carrying about 220 who knows let's get in the sim let's hit some balls so because of the uh computer issues we're running this off the ipad which i've managed to get it up and running off that so that's what we're doing for now but i've got the uh the three hybrid stiff flex launcher 19 degree so we're just going to give it a go i love my 19 degree hybrid i've got the orca one 
probably I'd say about a 220, 225 club for me. So how will this stand up? Now this price wise is phenomenal. So how does it feel and play? Not a bad strike to start with. Not the greatest, just fell over a little bit, lost my balance. But 205, 230, I'll take that for a bit of a fat, to be honest. I should have warmed up before I did this. Nice and straight though. Let's try and get a proper one. A little bit of a better hit. Slightly again caught it before the ball. A bit drawy that one. Let's try and get a proper one out there. Much better hit. Just got to sort my draw out. Stroke hook pull. Good for distance. Time at the ball though. I love this matte finish. Absolutely love this matte finish. The black shaft is nice. Got to aim a little bit further out to the right, I think. We've got a bit of a draw going on. Be a bit of a better shot. There we go. Feels great off the face, I've got to say. Really, really like this club off the face. Just got to sort this drawer out. It's going mental today. That's a bit better. More controlled. Not getting the greatest of yardage out of it. Great for distance, bit low spinner, real low spinner. That was a bit better, that was cleaner. So yeah, that's the sort of shot I'd be looking for with this. Nice high draw, more controlled, 221. So that's exactly the shot I want to be getting with this. Now I've warmed up a bit, 220 carry, lovely high draw, great launch, this club is really good. Shaft is a little bit whippy for me. Yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely club. There we go in this time. 220 again. Let's give it one more, have 10 shots with it. Bit wayward, but it's warming up really. Right, let's try and proper get one out there. Go after that one. Proper went after that one. Lovely high draw. 222. Those last three are exactly what I want to be doing. Just a lovely high draw. This is a really, really good club. Okay, so there we go in the sim. Like I thought, the first few were poorly, um, but once I'd got into the swing of it, those last three, 220, 219, 222, Bang on the money for me. Perfect high ball flight, perfect draw. This arguably could go into my bag today. Um, and if I didn't have something that performed like I wanted it to with the Orca GS5, this probably would go in the bag today because this is as good as anything else I've tried hybrid wise. The Maverick, the Orca, this could quite easily with this stock shaft just get put in the bag and be absolutely perfect for what I want. It is a little bit irony on the face for me but it doesn't sit like the Maverick does. The Maverick sort of sits toe up whereas this sits more like um, a wood does so this could absolutely go in the bag um, and I'm tempted to just put it in and give it a test out on the course anyway. It's just a good club. For, is it, so what we're talking, £60 cheaper than the Maverick? Is it £60 worse? Absolutely not. If you're in the money looking for a hybrid and you don't have a lot of money to spend and you're not a brand snob and you don't want to buy into all the marketing claims, you just want a, a hybrid that does exactly like it says on the tin, have a look at Cleveland Launcher, the Halo,
because this is a fantastic hybrid. So that's just a little review of it. I say I'm not going to go massively into it because the big reviews will happen on Dan's channel. I will take that down and we'll do a Saturday showdown with it, get it out on the course, test it um, in real situations. This is just a quick look, quick go in the simulator and just to sort of give you my initial impressions of it. By the time you've watched this, so this cut is coming out in the morning, last night was the first episode of the Whitsand Bay course vlog over on Dan's channel. That is me versus him, so coach versus student. This is Dan's revenge because prior to lockdown, I played Dan at Torquay over nine holes and I beat him, I think by about £1.62 because we play a penny a yard. So we're, complete, we're doing that again. Leicester was filming uh, and talking a lot. There's some funny banter that goes on as well. So head on over to Dan's channel and watch that. This week, uh, tomorrow, me and Dan and Lester are at Tavistock. We're playing Tavistock, so we're doing a course vlog down there. Weather dependent, because at the minute it is raining outside, but I think it clears up tomorrow. So we're down there doing a course vlog, just trying to get them in as we can, because when the shops open again, I think on the 15th of June, then it's going to be more difficult for Dan and Lester to get out because of them having to work in the at Torquay Golf Club. So we're just getting those in. So we'll have Bovy Castle, Whitsand Bay and Torquay. And I think we're hoping to get to Yelverton at some point as well. So I need to do a little bit more work. I've got to do some editing. And then I'm going to go home and hopefully Vicky's feeling a little bit better and she'll uh, get on camera today. She's back. Feeling better today? Yeah. You had a bit of a downer, didn't you, the other day? Okay. <laughs> I am not being on your vlog, she says. What have you been up to? Uh, I went to work. Back to work today? Yeah, for half a day was nice to see everyone. But that's why you're happy? Yeah, I feel a bit more happy now I've been out and been to work and seen people and done work in work. Work in work? If that makes sense. And Bump is getting bigger. Mm -hmm. Is that why you're wearing black? <laughs> you can see from the size. The size of the Bump, babes. And uh, for dinner, are we having anything pig related? Uh, pork chops. <laughs> so, yeah, then. <laughs> um, mashed potato, veg. Okay. So, we are having pig related food. What do you have for your lunch? I uh, have some ham sandwich. <laughs> Did you actually have a ham sandwich? Yeah. I took some <laughs> French onion soup in and I always like my French onion soup with a ham sandwich. <laughs> Just really? ham though. I don't when I have soup I don't have um any salad on it, I just have ham and mustard. You're ham mad, don't you? Literally ham. I didn't crazy. actually realise how ham mad I was until you started doing these vlogs. <laughs> like you just literally have and ham with everything. Realise that I do have ham on quite a lot and I eat quite a lot of pork. Oh well. Oh well. 